Yeah. We grow these dreads um, to signify our identity. Yeah. To know who is having. Yeah. yeah. You grow unique for a reason or two. Yeah. Yeah. It's really a unique one because yeah. it's, it's a hard thing to carry here. Not for like, formality. Sure. Sure. That is it. Sure. That it is should how be we more live. than formality. Bless I. That is how we live as Rastafari. All right. Right. <laughs> Tiko Rasta, the more you get more mysteries you least expected. Tonight we're back to the roots with the one aka Ras Jambade alongside Blackline as they give us more mysteries about the Ras Faren movement or the culture. You know, most of us are so much connected to Rasafarians being connected with nature, Rasafarians with the Zion, Rasafarians connected to the dreads, Rasafarians connected to uh, the idea of preaching one love all the togetherness what rasafarians connect to reggae yes lots of things are really in the life or in the roots of the rasafarian we didn't know enjoy yeah. how have you been rastaman i'm being there you've been okay yeah, in the jungle life, i, I you know, see i see, I see. <laughs> <laughs> all right i'll let you yeah. introduce yourself to the people out there watching blessed rastafari that is i and i so more is there but my brother looks for me wherever. Sure. Because we're always in the hideouts, yeah, in the isolations. Our reasons you know so much. I told you the other time, the reasons are more. One, purification, away from pollution, and more and more. We shall talk as yeah, I tell man. you. Yeah, man. Tell yeah. them your names in particular so you can remember. Um, my name's um, Amras Chambade Simpson Martin. Nice. Yeah. Chambade. How, how, how old is this? How old is your hair? Your hair? My hair is 10 years plus. 10 years plus. Yeah. We grow these dreads um, to signify our identity. And yeah. To know who is having. Yeah. Yeah. You grow unique for a reason or two. Yeah. Yeah. It's really a unique one because yeah. it's, it's a hard thing to carry here. Not for like, formality. Sure, that sure. That is it. Sure, that it is should how be we more live. than formality. Bless I. That is how we live as Rastafari. All right, right there, Rastafari. I want <coughs> to uh, start with asking you, Chambade. Yes. Um, how would you define Rastafari? One more time. How would you relate it to uh, ah. spirituality? Is it is it like a spiritual movement? Is it like a religious movement? Is yeah. it a philosophy thing going on? Could you just help break it down for the people out there? Yeah, briefly, kind of can tell you. It is a way of life. Rasta is a way of life. Rasta is a way of life. So if I, we say it is called, they say Rastafari. Mm. Ras meaning king yeah 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 tafari mm. feared mm. yeah yeah so if i say ras tafari mm. a ras a king who is feared a king who is feared yeah so we bow to be humble okay to hold our crowns up okay we know we are kings mm. that is why we are humble mm. yeah but we, we're not our leadership is not here it is somewhere. It's somewhere. Yeah. Right there. That's where I want yeah. us to go. Where is your leadership? Where is leadership for the Rasta man? We because build our souls here on earth uh -huh. to make up what we are yearning for. Where we are going. Where are you going? <laughs> Zion. <laughs> Zion. It is oh, Zion, oh, man. Oh, Zion. Zion. <laughs> yeah. I see. This is why we strive for. We striving to, to go strive to for Zion. Zion. Yeah. Listen, Chambade, yeah. uh, you see, I know from a Rastafari view, Zion, to you, the Rasta man, yeah. is Africa. Ethiopia. I don't know if I'm right. Ethiopia. Mostly. Ethiopia to be in particular. Yeah. And um, that's why I want my next question to come from. Yeah. Uh, do you see a possibility in yeah. this modern day life that we're living in today? Uh, I mean, with all the things that have taken yeah. te technology, all the things that are happening around, like, yeah. you know, the whole world is changed. Do you see a possibility yeah. of the black diaspora people coming back to Zion here in this modern day society? Um, let me tell you, my brother. Yeah. There are very many out there who are yearning to reach Zion. Yeah. And 
though you see the development or the civilization all around, yeah. paradise is still there. That is why we, st we are still there. So I come out from wherever I come, mm. then people are like, wow, what up, Rasta? Mm. Yeah, where have you grown your hair from? Mm. Yeah. Mm. Then I tell him, I'm always in the paradise. Mm. Yeah, I'm always in the hideout. Mm. I need the fresh water. I mm. need the fresh air. Mm. Yeah. Mm. But I want us to be a little bit yeah. realistic, Chamba Day. Mm. You see, so much has changed, and it would be a whole lot of work. It is a sacrifice. Listen, listen, yeah. Chamba Day. It will be a whole lot of work getting the black African diaspora yeah. who are out there and then mm. carrying them back here. Yeah. Um, because it is Zion, you understand? Yeah. So, I don't know. Do you think that would be realistic you see, today? This is an individual fight. I feel you. Yeah? I feel you. If it is an individual fight, we do what we got to do. Mm. When you hear the, 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 uh, the, trumpet the trumpet being blown. I love that. Yeah? I love that. If the trumpet is blown, you hear it yourself. Yeah. yeah you are a soldier of yourself. I love that. Uh -huh. mm. You will not gather people that we, let's go and fight and do this. No, it's a personal fight thing. The moment you feel it, mm. those who feel it, those mm. who are in it, mm. are the ones who feel it. Because you know why? Yeah. I have heard stories of okay, people might not be able to come back here, yeah. but yeah, then yeah. they want to create their, I think, their own kind of Zion out <laughs> there where they are. I don't know. Never. That's never. Mm. There is always a room. Mm. or environment where you can build your soul. And that's Africa, Ethiopia. Roots. Getting rooted. Roots. <laughs> I love that, Chabadi. That is it. I love that, Chabadi. You, yeah. you, you, Rastaman, are known for um, uh, having uh, a quite a unique, you call it liberty, actually. Bless her. Yes, you call it liberty. Yeah, yeah. A, a very unique way of, 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 of living. I mean, you, so much. The foods, the, the foods, the foods. environment. Yeah, and, and you know what? What's surprising <coughs> is that, or oh, what's funny, I should say, it's that uh, the current world we are living in today yeah. is the opposite of what the Rastaman that stands for. Opposite with what we are building. It is the opposite it, it of is, what you are building, is, yes. Over yeah. what you have built for some. Yeah. The journey for Rasta mm. far right. Yeah. It is a journey of running away from sin. Mm -hmm. Tell me more about that. It is a journey of starting the righteous road. In isolation, you run away from too much pollution that is surrounded us. That is why you always see Rastas. Mm. If, if, you, if you, you become a Rasta from the city, at the end of the, the time, mm. as time goes by, you'll go down You'll have to go down back to the, to the... Yeah! I understand, but... Where you will have space mm. and time to incarnate with nature. Yeah. Because whenever you incarnate with nature, mm. there are always mysteries, or a natural mystic flow mm. 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 that comes closer to you. Tell me how relevant uh, Rastaman is to, to the society today. Rastaman, Do you think you have any relevance to society today? Yeah, kinda. Because today there's, a, there's an image they see in a Rasta. Yep. Which is not like the past time. Because today we try to reveal who we are, yep. by how we conduct ourselves. The image, somebody you're talking about, yeah. how. Being uh, 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 someone having dreads, how you are, you, you are spoiled brat, yeah, yeah. how uh, you know, uh, puffing yeah. because you do the, the, the cannabis, the, the marijuana, that is it. That how is you are a spoiled it. person, yeah. that, that's in the current modern way, modern that society. Yeah. So you want to say there is a way you benefit, to, you are a benefit to society anyway? Yeah, somehow, reason being that, for my being unique, there are people who come closer. Mm. And whoever tickles I and I, mm. I blow out. I tell you reality. Sure. Yeah. We shall not handle microphones to go and preach the word. Mm. But we have what to tell them. You have what to tell yeah, them. Yeah, the gospel is, is always there. Which, which I think is what you're partly revealing to us. It's righteousness. Yeah, all right. Yeah. Uh, uh, I so think everyone should be Rasta. <laughs> bless, bless. Uh, Black Line one more time is my name, and I'm chilling with uh, a one Rasta Chamba day. And yeah. we're trying to uh, uh, talk about how Rasta relates to the uh, modern day society today. You see